Um, the next piece is, Saint, this is a really long title, but it's St. Stephen receives the Pope's envoys bringing the crown. The city and country that was made in is probably Leuven, Brussels. I don't know how to say it. This is a location is the Museum of Fine Arts in Budapest, Hungary. The artist responsible for the work is Pierre Joseph Verhagen. The artist's nationality is Flemish. The medium of work is oil on canvas and the period is romantic. The historical elements of the work is that it was originally commissioned, commissioned by Duke Carl von Koblenz. Koblenz, I, these words are so hard. <laughs> but he died before Verhagen had delivered the commission. Being previously introduced, the artist offered the finished work to Prince Charles Alexander of Lorraine, who was also the governor of the Austrian Netherlands. Um, how long it took to create is unknown, but it's dated in 1770. This work is important because when Prince Charles was presented the work, he had to talk to the Empress of Austria at the time, Maria Theresa, to ask for permission to purchase the work. And when she was shown it, she was taken aback by its quality. She decided to support the artistic development of the artist by funding a study trip to Italy, which kickstarted his career internationally. And he eventually became like the go-to artist for Pope Clement XIV. The defining characteristics of this work is that the pain depicts Stephen I, the patron saint of Hungary, as coronation being presented with the Holy Crown of Hungary, which was made under the order of Pope Sylvester II, specifically for Stephen. The details are like littered with Christian symbols, such as the cherubs in the corner and crosses to commemorate Stephen's declaration of Hungary as a Christian nation. The historical contributions of the artist Verhagen was a very prolific painter who created religious and mythological compositions, as well as some portraiture. He painted over 300 works during his lifetime, and was thus one of the most productive painters in the Austrian Netherlands. My personal observation is that it's really hectic and looks kind of informal of being a coronation. So I don't know if that's symbolic or if it was just kind of weird because it wasn't as strict back then. I don't know, it just looks really hectic and not as like much formality as it normally would be depicted. I chose this work because my Hungarian friend told me about the event that actually happened in it and I saw the actual crown for myself in real life in the parliament. There's no pictures of it because that's illegal, but I did see it, I promise. Um, how it compares to other works from the pyramid, period. Stylistically, the artist is regarded as one of the last members of Flemish Baroque, so there are some elements of that in this piece. Although it is part of the Romantic period, not that I know much about art, but it does kind of look like a little bit of a mix between both of it. Mostly, like, the actual, like, people themselves do look like in the Romantic style, but the background does have, like, those dark elements and the big drapery on the top and everything. Um, a fun fact is that to celebrate the unification of Hungary under Christianity and their first king, St. Stephen's Day, is celebrated in Hungary on August 20th every year.